All right, everybody, today we are gonna create backyard beauty portraits in horrible light. All right, so no matter what time of day it is, you have to be able to create some amazing images. And as you can see, uh, the sun, this is crappy light, uh, and it's really easy if I show you this uh, to just see what we've got going on here uh, with Ellie behind me. And so we wanna be able to make a great portrait no matter where we are. Uh, and so what we're gonna do, here's our setup today. We have got a Profoto A1 with a CTO gel behind Ellie, and that's gonna give us that warm, almost sunset kind of feel. And the funny thing is, is you can tell sun's over here and it's absolutely horrible. So we're creating our own sun. And then for the main light, what we're gonna use is a Profoto B10 Plus with a Westcott giant, check this out, Octabox on there uh, to really, really soften the light on that. So let's get to it, let's make some great images and you can do this anywhere you are. A tree is not a tree and light is not light. You can make your own magic no matter where you are. Let's get to it. All right, I almost forgot to tell you guys what we're doing here. I've got a uh, Canon EOS R today with an 85 millimeter lens, but the most important piece here is uh, I am photographing at 1.2 uh, on my camera, and uh, because it's so bright out, we're gonna have to go into high-speed sync. So you'll see all the settings, but the most important piece to understand is in order to photograph at 1.2 in this kind of light, we have to be in high-speed sync because our shutter speed is gonna be over 200th of a second, uh, and you're, not gonna be, you're gonna get that black bar on your picture. So that's why we're doing it this way. Uh, out here today. Let's practice it. So when you do it, yeah, you it's all in those eyes, right? So it's just before your smile, uh, your eyes will start relaxing, and that's where I'm at. Come in right under that light. Yep. What's your power? So you're probably gonna have to go down to, uh, let me take a test shot. Here we go, one, two. All right, let's get going. Chin, open up that body to me just a little bit. Nope, shoulders stay rolled up. Shoulders perfect, now roll with me. Don't worry about your chin, one body part at a time. Body's perfect, top of your head, lean this way. Chin down, chin this way. Baby steps, I got you. All right, gorgeous, stay there. Don't move. Good, good, right there. Bring this light here more. Here we go, test shot, one, two, one, two. Nobody move. Here we go, one, two. We're getting behind the scenes. What is, uh, give us a rundown. What's going on, Brandy? What's going on, Ellie? Why are you crying? I don't know. Does Sal just make you cry? <laughs> yeah. What kind of photo shoot is this crying on a beautiful day? All right, we got our behind the scenes videographer. What's going on? You don't know? You don't talk? Don't know how to keep <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, I'm so crying. as you can tell, it is super bright out here, uh, which is hard for Ellie because right out there, that's what she's staring at. And it's just this kind of like, bright blue sky, um, making it hard to focus. But uh, as you're already seeing, we're getting dialed in on that image and it looks really, really good. But I'm just trying to drive this point home. No matter where you are, you can create magical portraits. And uh, you know, a lot of times photographers will see a tree like this and they pull the subject way out uh, in front of it. And then you've got this mixed light on the tree, which doesn't look good. And now what we're doing is we're kind of burying her in here uh, and using this uh, as a way to um, kind of frame her up and then lighting her with nice even light. So you're still seeing all the detail of the flowering of the tree. Uh, and then that, I'm gonna show you this one light so you can see it here. It's buried 
in the tree. Hold on, sorry, bad camera work. Uh, but right back there is a uh, Profoto A1, and that A1 has a um, CTO gel on it, and that CTO gel is what's allowing us to get that warmth behind her, right? And so it's a, just a little trick like that that can make a huge difference. So let's get Ellie back on the uh, Apple crate and get her modeling again. Back, bring your chin this way. There it is, Ellie. Your body's perfect. Let the top of your head go this way. There it is. Stunning. Now it's on the Soften it up. There it is. Let me get a test shot. One, two. Stunning. All right, everybody, so that is a wrap. Hopefully you can see, there was one goal here. We wanted one uh, shot of Ellie. We actually got quite a few, but you can see how with one element, just by changing your perspective, bringing in your own light, right? So in this case, we had two lights. Uh, one was warming up the background, which I really did like. It's subtle, right? It's not overpowering, uh, but it's bringing in that warmth to the back of the shot. Uh, and uh, of course, in the front, we're using that uh, in high-speed sync. We're using one lens, uh, one main light, uh, and we are creating some incredible portraits uh, just in what ordinarily, I'm gonna show it to you, would just be a tree on the side of the road, right? And so you're seeing, hopefully you're inspired to get out there and take something that seems ordinary, something that seems insignificant uh, and put your own spin on it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you thought and uh, there'll be more videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.